our other big story tonight. We're five days out from the election. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders joined Governor Murphy on the campaign trail tonight. Both were at Rutgers University. Sanders looking to turn out young voters for the governor next week. News 12 in Jersey's Alex Sedan joins us tonight from New Brunswick. Alex. Senator Bernie Sanders is the most influential name in progressive politics. He sits as an independent in the U.S. Senate, but ran for president twice as a Democrat and remains very popular with that party's base. Rallying tonight here at Rutgers alongside Governor Murphy, Sanders put his progressive seal of approval on the governor's first term record. I am here because your governor is one of the most progressive, if not the most progressive governor in America. In a race where Democratic turnout will be essential, Senator Sanders rallied an ecstatic Rutgers crowd for four more years of Governor Murphy. It is absolutely imperative that every person in this room comes out to vote. You bring your uncles, your aunts, your friends. Let's do it. New Jersey is proving that what he stands for and what he believes can work for the United States of America. Yeah, look, I'm delighted to be here. Following the rally, Senator Sanders told News 12 that the governor's progressive policies represent the future of democratic politics. We can have a governor here who has shown that he stands up for working people, stands up for women's rights, stands up for uh, needing to deal with climate change. He's bringing in Bernie Sanders. During a town hall in Fairlawn around the same time, Republican gubernatorial nominee Jack Cittarelli told supporters the governor's reliance on bringing in surrogates like Sanders and former President Barack Obama to campaign for him is evidence of Republican momentum. He can bring in the ghost of FDR. We're winning up today. We're winning up today. So, folks, I need you. You have got to vote. Sanders returning to themes of his 2016 and 2020 presidential campaigns, saying the governor needs to be reelected. To once again make people understand and believe that their government belongs to them and not to the billionaire class. Sanders rushing up from Washington, D.C. to this rally and heading right back down for intense negotiations, trying to ensure that progressive priorities like paid family leave are part of President Biden's $1.5 trillion social spending framework. In New Brunswick, Alex Sedan, News 12, New Jersey.